Math 083, Final Exam Review, Problem 34. A boat travels 60 miles per hour in still water. Find the speed of the river's current if the boat travels 80 miles down the river in the same time that it takes for the boat to travel 70 miles up the river. The unknown quantity is the speed of the river. We will call that x. We are dealing with matters of distance, like 80 miles and 70 miles. We are dealing with matters of rate or speed, like 60 miles per hour. And we have a mention of time. So we must use this key formula. Distance equals rate times time. You may have seen it written like this. D equals R times T. We will set up a table or a chart to solve this problem. There is a measurement of distance, rate, and time for the boat going down the river or downstream and for the boat going up the river or upstream. Let's see what we can fill in regarding the downstream trip. The distance downstream mentioned here is 80 miles. The boat going downstream is moving with the current. So the speed of the boat is increased by the speed of the current. So the speed of the boat, or the rate of the boat, going downstream is 60 miles an hour, plus it's increased as it is being carried with the flow of the current. So we have 60 plus x. We'll come back to the time in just a moment. The distance upstream, 70 miles. A boat going upstream is going against the river's current, so its speed is slowed by the speed of the river's current. The speed, therefore, of the boat going upstream is 60 miles an hour minus the speed of the river's current. We are not given specific numbers about the time downstream or the time upstream, but this equation here tells us something. If distance equals rate times time, then I can solve for time by dividing this equation on both sides by r. And this tells me that time equals distance divided by rate. So the time downstream is the distance divided by the rate. Distance 80 divided by rate 60 plus x. Likewise, the time upstream distance divided by rate, 70 divided by 60 minus x. Where does that get us? Well, we have a key word here. It takes the same amount of time to travel 80 miles downstream as it does to travel 70 miles upstream. In other words, these time expressions are equal, so we will set them equal to each other. So 80 divided by 60 plus x equals 70 divided by 60 minus x. And we must now solve this equation for x. Let's turn our attention there. Here we have a rational equation. To solve this rational equation, we will multiply both sides by the least common denominator. The least common denominator in this case is simply the product of these two denominators. So we multiply on the left side of the equation by the LCD, and we multiply on the right side of the equation by the LCD. These factors divide to 1. These factors divide to 1 on this side. On the left-hand side of the equal sign, we have 80 times the quantity 60 minus x. That equals. On the right-hand side, we have 70 times the quantity 60 plus x. 4,800 minus 80x after distributing equals 4,200 plus 70x distributing on the right hand side. Let's add 80x to both sides. We have 4,800 equals 4,200 plus 150x. Subtract 4,200 from both sides. 600 equals 150x. And dividing both sides of the equation by 150, we get that x, which is the speed of the current, is 4 miles per hour.